So here's the map sensor and these are eight millimeter screws, bolts. And it doesn't take much to do this. We're gonna take this cover off uh, and then remove this and put it back together. All right, so let's pop this off. As you can see, I put some covers for the wiring on there. So I'm going to remove these two uh, eight millimeter screws and then unplug this, get the new part, clean up underneath here if it needs to be cleaned, get some dielectric grease for the connector and uh, put this thing together. Also, there's a piece that you don't get, which is a, a sleeve, a rubber sleeve that goes into the plenum chamber. And uh, I bought that and that will be shown in the uh, notes below for a link so you can uh, purchase it. So there's everything you should need. Just have some Windex, I have a rag to clean it. I have my magnet deal here so the Screws can go in there and not fall all over the place somewhere. Dielectric grease, eight millimeter socket and wrench. So let's do it. Other thing is I have some blue Loctite for the bolts, so uh, I overlooked that for a second. Now here's that uh, rubber insert I was telling you about that. You can remove the old one, but look at the condition of it. So I bought some new ones, and you'll see me install it. Spray a little Windex on here. Clean this up a little bit. That's that. Looks like you have to separate this. Oh broke off. Lovely. Well, that was a disaster. This thing broke. Well, I guess it's, it clips on, so it's, it's not broken. It has these things that go on to little tabs, like over here. So, all right. I should worry about that for a minute. Another tab here, which should probably break. There we go. All right, it's the old part. As usual, a little dielectric grease on here to make the connection better. Stop it from uh, deteriorating anyway. All right, that's more than enough. So here's that sleeve that goes on to here. Just slide it on. Here we go. It's on. Okay, I'm going to take this and uh, Plug this in. It seems to be right. There's no other place for it to attach. 
and you can see this th you can see the three separators here for the wires so slip that in there between the wires and put that on see it snap see that snap so just make sure you do that so these wires are separated for whatever reason I'm not sure about the electronics requirements for that okay that'll slide in there Ooh. Well, that didn't want to slide right in so let's get a little dielectric race make things hopefully a little smoother put the clamp back on Okay, screws and start this. Oh, well, let's not forget the little Loctite. Okay, doesn't, oh, doesn't take much. There, always more than you need. This thing, same here. Loctite always manages to spill. All right. Let's get this started. Okay, they're all both started. Nice. So I'll get this cleaned up, put the cover back on, and then uh, see if the engine starts. Hopefully it will. Okay. Just have to get put these either pinholes and onto here. That should cover it up. There we go. You heard that click. All right. I'm gonna go in the vehicle and. Uh, start this thing up hopefully all right here goes Okay. Oh yeah, that sounds it's responsive. It actually sounds a little better than normal. And uh, by the way, that was the performance map sensor that I put on. So there's two different ones. There's the standard one, and then there's the performance one. I paid extra and bought the performance one, and I'll put a link onto that one for you. Oh yeah. All right, I'm happy with this. Thanks for watching. And please uh, like and subscribe if you liked it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Didn't make a video on this, but I installed this performance intake. Supposedly it helps the airflow smoother because it's not all accordioned like this. And... Uh, what you have to do is loosen these all out and then move it and then you can install it and of course unplug there's a plug back there that you unplug 
so you don't uh, damage anything when you're wiggling it around. And I'll put a link to that part in the notes and comments below.